and wide. Chat says, I have a sickness, and the only cure is more banter. The eel, <laughs> the eel is a swim bladder fish. Cool. Which eel? The eel. The Just eel. eel. <laughs> the. There's only one. The, there can only be one. That rock looks like a face. There are sharks, flounder, cobia, and mackerel and that don't have swim bladders, and I guess salmon as well. Don't I sharks? Don't, yeah. don't they have, like, big livers? Like... <gasps> This is a cliff. Yeah, that's what sharks use. I think sharks use their liver instead of the swim bladder. Ooh, yeah, uh, look at that. Not a, not a cliff as oh. such. Just a droppy offy bit. But maybe over here. Let me give you some delta. Sure. Oh, <laughs> big coral. Single stock bamboo. So do we want to talk about apples again, or...? <laughs> <laughs> We're still on bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right, we gotta save, we save, gotta save it. Save the random conversations for the blue water. Because <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. I'm trying to think of a joke, but I haven't built it fully, so hopefully you folks can help me out. Workshop it. Something to do with how manganese sounds like mango knees like what's your favorite fruit body joint <laughs> it's, not, it's not good right like yeah, I haven't, <laughs> haven't figured it out There's I think there. you're trying too hard no you gotta you gotta workshop it sometimes I can't come up with it on my own my favorite body joint is my shoulder uh, magnet is it? rotator Mango. rotator cuff that's your favorite joint I don't know you're making me question my choices <laughs> that's my least I favorite like joint why because it's terribly designed and unreliable oh I kind of uh, like it. The knee. <laughs> Especially with mango <coughs> on, mango. on what it. Especially about with mango. What about mango knee? Mm. Mango, mango yeah. knees? <laughs> 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 that was even a joke. Just trying like too hard, maybe. Tell us what? Magnum is sometimes mango. There you go. Knees. He doesn't <laughs> have knees, though. He has wrists. Mm. Okay, knee, great joint, because, <laughs> okay, sure, they wear out on people, and people need knee replacements and stuff, but if you count up the number of steps an average person takes in their lifetime and the number of cycles that is on a knee joint, it's very, very, very hard to design a mechanical system that can take that loading characteristic for that length of endurance. So because it's designed in such a way to last that longevity, it's it's actually an incredibly designed joint. The shoulder, however, is not. It's terrible and falls apart all the time and can be very easily better designed. So you talk about the high one or the low one? What? What? Which knee you talk about, the high one or low one? I don't, I, I'm, I'm being baited, but I don't know how to follow <laughs> up, so. You have a low knee. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't, <go there. laughs> Don't do it. He's going to do it. Uh, <laughs> I think you just gasping at straws there. No, that was me. I was the one grasping at straws. You're grasping at knees. Yeah, terrible. Oh, they can't all be gems. Here's a... Here's Wait, one. I have one. Oh, go, go, go. What part of the mango bends? There we go, the yeah. The mango knees. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a bigger reaction. <laughs> it was a good rescue. Well, it was the best we've heard, <laughs> and it was way better than anything I could come up with, so I'll g i got to give you that. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, hmm. we're maybe we're thinking of the wrong knees. Hmm. The wrong... Yeah, Are so you going to stop anytime? It goes on forever. <laughs> it goes on forever. This. Zoom in with Atalanta. Now we gain yes. the last vessel Ooh. move. Yeah. Or not. We can just let it swing. We're okay. going to be coming off bottom in four Big and a half minutes. So. If I go down just right, then I can floss this in between some of the lake bar brackets. Oh, awesome. No, don't do that. <laughs> Any last second sampling or zoomy requests? I'm, I'm good. Okay, cool. We'll just keep doing some more last-minute exploration. 
Still working on the mango knees. You are? No, I. No. I had a couple, but I decided. What if I'm we like it. integrated like nuggets into that joke? I feel like we could start with a better template. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I like the best jokes just come naturally. Yeah. 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 We're forcing it. Yep. Trying too hard. I feel like you gotta try all the shots you think of though. Some of them land better than expected and some of them land most of them land worse, so that's also fine. This one's not a joke, but it's like a riddle. You think there's Chana Cops. <laughs> Let's end in a Chana Cops. Ooh, Sorry. Save your riddle. No, no, no. Chana Cops is Chana Delta Cops. down, please. Delta down, Roger. Incredible. Oh, oh good yeah. guess. Oh, beautiful. Hiding. You saved our banter, Chana Cops. Oh, where are you oh. going, buddy? <laughs> Chana Cops says you guys ain't funny. <laughs> Just away. Do you want to talk about mango knees? <laughs> he kind of looks like a mango. He does. He does. No knees, though. Oh. He does have knees. He's, he's horizontal got little feet. or vertical. It's vertical. Oh. Can I have down light, please? Roger. Not doing a very good job of swimming away. Why is it swimming vertically when it can just swim right straight? Right under the porch. It's trained by Indiana Jones. Just run away from the boat. <laughs> Look at its mouth. <laughs> oh. 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 That's jet, jet power. Yeah, jet that's not the low knee. <laughs> 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 He's got two of them. I had no idea they had those. Yeah, <laughs> Comebacker. Nice. I got oh. a photo of it. Oh, terrible. Wow. Oh, I, I, I need to highlight that. Cool. It's jetpack power wasn't very powerful. Turbo boost. <laughs> no. I think I spelled Chana Cops wrong, Bronke, but... C-H. It's too late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Chocolate Clops. Oh, no, you spelled it right. Did I? Because oh, I said it was wrong. Oh. Ooh, nice there we go. Sorry, sorry, buddy. But not sorry. You did. All right, I should, I should leave you alone. It's not a very good swimmer, huh? Scientific oh. names aren't really well known by spell check. I feel like sometimes it did know, though. Not for these ones. Oh. Um, Willem made an attempt. What does an encrusted rock with allergies do? Manga sneeze. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Clever. What do you call a really cold encrusted rock? Chilled. Mango freeze. Mm. Oh. That sounds delicious. <laughs> a mango freeze, <laughs> yeah. Mango freeze. Ooh. What do you call it when you pick up a rock that Rob doesn't want? No, that didn't work. I totally messed that up. <laughs> Try again. No, I just, uh, that's the wrong structure entirely. I just <laughs> Manga, not these. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Go pilot you with the assist. Oh, that was great. <laughs> what do you call a rock that um, keeps slipping out of Annabelle's hands? Mango, oh, geez. <laughs> Mango lost in the breeze? <laughs> that's a better one. <laughs> Mega not these. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> that was a great recovery from my terrible setup. That was perfect. That was funny. This is why you have a co-pilot, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> it's why you got to try to make jokes even when you haven't thought them through. Because, you know, something like that will happen sometimes. It's perfect. In turn. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. I kept turning around to look at you. Is, is that okay? Like, do I need to turn around again? You gotta turn to. Well, you tell me which way you gotta turn. I gotta turn to port. Why is that? Something, something tether wraps. I'm doing the tether wraps. You gotta deal with six eight wraps. Right, six eight wraps. Six eight wraps are negative, so I should be turning positive. That's right. And I should be pointed towards the back of the ship. That also is right. Okay. And also correct. Yeah, it's both. Sorry, I wasn't muted there. <laughs> Getting myself organized in the back row, let me mute myself. Don't bother. Bring us in. Well, okay, if chat is interested in what happens now that we're 
rising up with the oh, data logger and the science them? people. Okay. Roll. Is this all right looking? <clears throat> Never been better. Roger that. You can start coming up slow on the winch. You can get the stick going at about 10 meters a minute, and then I'll catch up, and then we'll go faster. Roger. Oh. I log samples three ways. So there's a digital log on the computer, and then there are also two physical logs. There's a diagram of Hercules for sample collection that has all our slurp jars, all our niskins, all our push cores, and bio box spots. And then we also have sample forms. So for each sample, we fill out 12. a bunch of information that goes with it as well. And in blue water on our way up, I start organizing those sample forms and our sample labels on the clipboard so that we can be ready to pull them right off of Herc when it gets on board. That's what I'm doing. Nice. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I'm going to write beginning ascent. Raj. I cannot spell that. Okay. I get to open up a whole new section of my checklist and Ooh. look at all the little boxes to be checked off. I get to do what I've been doing this whole entire time. Talk to chat. <laughs> there you go. Talk to chat. Well, right now I'm looking at chat stats. Chat stats. Chat stats. Chat stats. What are our chat stats? Are well, they good? I mean, they're decreasing because we're increasing in depth. Um, getting lower, less chatters. Yeah, that makes sense. No more science. Oh, there's Ooh. some science now. Did oh. you see that? What was it? I don't know. It looks like a Tina for Squishy. Good looking squishy. Squishy. Do you want to know the peak of chatters? Sure. Mm, I guess it would have to be... Oh. Yeah, today was yesterday. <coughs> um, the peak was at about Big 10 enough. something with 152. Is this local time or...? Um, local time to us, but this is so around we are the world. Point like coming up. Yeah, so no, I'm just trying to say it's the time local. Yeah, the 10. Yeah. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> right now we're only at 30 something. Chad asks, what do y'all think about what it'd be like if you just found someone walking around down there or like another ROV? I used to think about that a lot until I completely realized how absurd that would be. But yeah, I get it. Like, I don't know why I thought about that, that a lot. But I thought about it too. <laughs> I Didn't took it we have a, a conversation cave. about what if we found Argus? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Argus was just going on vacation. Just, you know, taking a break, taking some time off. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know, maybe Argus needs some alone time. I'll give you another hint to the second phrase. It was baited for Dave. Nice zoom. Go no. beeves. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what Dave says on repeat. Turning off auto heading. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I got nothing. And it wasn't nice rock or good rock? Nope. Great shot. Close to that. Ooh. Good Great. shot. <laughs> nope. Great slope. Nope. Mediocre shot. No. <laughs> Great view. Close. I'll just tell you what it was. 
It was one of three things. It was either great, or nice. maybe it was one of two things. It was either great or beautiful Atalanta. Uh. Uh. All right, gauge check finished. Does anyone in the van have peanut allergies? I do not. Nope. No. Nope. May I help? <gasps> uh, I think, oh, I my think I gotta gosh. do it off the road. Peanut M and M's. Pass we them around. Hit the jackpot! Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know these things existed anymore. That's incredible. This is the second time David's feeding us. Yeah, Do you mean don't you don't know they existed in the world or in I the van? On the ship in the ocean oh, yeah. in life. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, do you want me to speed up to twenty? Do you want to pass them to the front? Yeah, go this way. Thanks, Dave. Certainly. You guys didn't take all that many. I brought a bunch. I mean, I'll, I'll take more. I'll, I'll make a second round. I just wanted to savor it for everybody. That's nice. Very nice. There you go. Send them around. Rob, do you not like peanut M&Ms? I love them. I've got my own. Oh, you guys thought ahead. Not the first time we've been out here. That's true. If you think about it, peanut M&Ms are quite like nodules or nuggets. nuggets. Mm -hmm. They have the manganese crusted, and then the chocolate, and then the rock peanut layer. There you go. I don't like that silent <laughs> stare. I was trying hard. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Yes, thank you, Dave. There might be some more treats as, thank you, Dave. Uh, as we go into our last week here. Go into the treat vault. No matter how many times we do this, either you end up with way too few or way too many snacks. I can never budget it right. I know. Same with coffee. It's crazy. I have like 30 fruit by the foot, so expect some of those coming up soon. Cool. <laughs> I have like a quarter of a box of Cheez-Its left if anyone wants. Well, we've had Cheez-Its as our snack bin snack, so... Well, I'm giving everyone stickers, so you know what? That's my contribution. Cool. I'm giving everyone my lovely wit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. With gems like mango knees. <laughs> so maybe only half. Half of your lovely wit. <laughs> that's appropriate, Dave. Thank you. The second time I've gotten that one in. It's like this was uh, 
wasn't a fast dive and it wasn't a slow dive. It was kind of like a, a half-assed one in the middle. Right. Too many nuggets. We were like in a nugget lake for like two hours. It, it seemed like forever. Mm-hmm. Chat wants to know where peanuts, seeds, what are they considered? Legumes. 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 They, they said seeds slash legumes, so. You know us, Nautilus Live, the peanut experts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of Googling it, they typed into chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the same number of typings. It's hilarious. Yeah, but at least, at least with chat, they get acknowledged. Mm. I should have Google acknowledged you. I mean, if you hate Google, it does. I think my one of my favorite views on the whole ship is in the winch room, where you see the high tech is stuff moving can <laughs> meter, the washer on a string. It's very useful, yeah. Super useful. The wincher. It's been a while since we've heard of the wincher, but. <laughs> so I guess the Super Chatters Discord people were talking about the Chana Cops. Um, <laughs> they said Chana Cops bum holes, what? but you know what they mean by those two holes. They hmm. said they came across something that said because of a lack of a swim bladder, they use those as jet propulsion. Cool. This jetpack was pretty close. I like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it got cold all of a sudden. It's right here. It's a ghost. It's like drastically different one side to the other. Just right here. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Two degrees? Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about what's on your other side, but... Servers? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, for the next dive, we're transiting about 16 hours? Mm, well, it's going to be total transit, but it's only about a 7-8 hour, but we're going to do some mapping on the way. Mm -hmm. So, chat, hopefully tomorrow evening, but, you know, you know how this goes. Never any promises here. Um, does anyone have anything interesting they would like to say from their brains? <laughs> I got my riddle. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, riddle. you got your riddle, yeah. What happened to that? What do you think there are more of in the world? Eyes or legs on living creatures? Eyes. Legs. No. <laughs> Well, there's two Legs. eyes in living, and one L. Oh. Mm. Oh, is that? Is that? Is there an answer to this? No, it's like, it's a thinker. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a riddle then. I just call it a Question. thing to ponder. <laughs> it's. A, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Today's ponderable. It's. I don't know. It's sort of the biology. Equivalent of the uh, other ponderable, are there more doors or wheels in the world? Y'all ever heard that one? Yeah, no. I have heard that one. More wheels, for sure. No question. Defines it, like what do you define as a door? Like, because I feel like if you get really loosey goosey with the definition of door, it could come close. You think so? I don't know. Like. 
Well, yeah, because like on an airplane, they have all the service doors that are tiny doors. Are those doors? Yeah, but each shopping cart has four wheels, so. But like yeah, but each airplane has like 20 service doors. Yeah, but that's the same as five carts. I think there's more wheels. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Some airplanes have 20 wheels. All right. <laughs> you got me there. What about like buildings? Yeah, there's a lot of wheels in buildings. You're right. There is a lot of wheels. <laughs> Think all the about carts like for like all the janitorial stuff. Think about every office all chair wheel. Every office chair has five wheels. Yeah. Well, if you really think about it, like there's some that are doors and wheels. Like if you have like cabinets or drawers, that's like a door, but that's also like 20 wheels. Yeah, there you go. More wheels. I'm the wheels camp. Whoop. You make a better door than a wheel, they say. Oh, that's squishy. A little, a little squishy in Atalanta. It's Look gone. at this squishy. Oh. Hmm. Let me look up more riddles. What is the one that's like, what can go down a chimney up, but not up a chimney down? That's a classic. All right, how about how much wood cause a, could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck <laughs> could chuck wood? Go beeves. Go beeves. <laughs> <laughs> <That was laughs> can you slow down a little bit, please? I'm just Roger. following behind. Slowing down. You want to come down to like 22? Yeah, I think 22 would be good. Okay. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? No guesses? Manganese nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Footsteps. Oh. oh. Good one. Who's writing no more whale? Ah. Oh. Why? Because we do not want any more whale bones. How many do we have? We have like three. Three. What? It's a lot. Yeah, we have three for this dive. And Steve said we had like. On the vehicle right now? This expedition, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, we have like, a lot of whale bones. What are we going to do with all the whale bones? The more you take, the more you leave behind, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. David's father has three sons. Snap, Crackle, no and... David? David. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, the answer to more you take, the more you leave behind could be push cars. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Annabelle. <laughs> <laughs> Not singling you out, though, because nobody's been... Successful yeah. with push uh, uh, what fish costs the most? Bluefin tuna. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not wrong. It's a goldfish. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, here's this one's appropriate. What, a, what is full of holes, but still holds water? Swiss cheese. Sponges. Swiss cheese? I mean, I guess so. Yeah, guess. moisture content, you know? Okay, it's sponges. <laughs> All right, I got one. Yeah? If you're rushing going in and finish coming out, what are you? Something about the countries. Rushing going in, finish coming out, what are you? A oh. European. Yeah, oh. 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 Welcome to Nautilus After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I don't want math riddles. Boo. Oh, I love math riddles. Give me the math yeah, riddle, yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Nerd watch. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, uh, 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 I am an odd number. Take away a letter, I become even. What number am I? Seven. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Mm -hmm. You got a three empty three gallon jug. You got an empty five gallon jug and an unlimited supply of water. You need to have four gallons of water measured out. How do you do it? An empty three gallon jug and an empty five gallon jug? Why don't you just measure four gallons? How would you measure it? Are they the same diameter? Yes, exactly the same diameter. Okay. <laughs> you have no measuring tape. You have no way. You just got uh, a jug. You got like a jug of a weird shape and another jug of a weird shape. But you know exactly right. how full they are, how much there is it's when they're like full. Something about like putting one jug inside the other and then. They don't fit inside one another. Okay. I don't know. You just measure out the full three and then measure out a fifth of the fifth. I mean, how exact do we need to be here? Like exact. Totally exact. Perfectly exact. Excluding, like, evaporation and other weird nuances. Let's just play the game, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat the question? You have a three-gallon jug. Just empty. Whatever. Some weird random shape that doesn't fit into something else. You have a five-gallon jug. There's no gradations. There's no marks. There's no measurements. You just know that when filled, it's full of five gallons and full of three gallons. You can have an unlimited supply of water. You can fill them up as many times as you want. And dump them out, whatever. And at the end of the day, you want four gallons. How do you do it? Uh, I'm still thinking about putting one jar inside the other. I Fill the five-gallon jug. Pour off three gallons. Eliminate that. Fill the five-gallon jug again. Pour off three gallons. And then two that's plus two, two equals four. Yep. Mm -hmm. How do you pour off the second three gallons? I mean, Could you, you, can just, you can just pour it out. Just pour it into the three-gallon jug. But that's already full of the two gallons. Oh, you empty it out. Could you pour the... So if you had an unlimited supply of water. Yeah, but you can't, that doesn't... Because then you only got three gallons. Because cause you have two left over at the three and the five, and then if yeah. you did that twice, then you'd have four. Where do you store the second two in the meantime? Uh, in your mouth. <laughs> I think I have an answer from the lounge. Oh, oh. okay. Okay, so you fill the three-gallon jug, you empty that three-gallon jug into the five-gallon jug. So now you know you have three gallons in the five-gallon. Fill your three-gallon again, top up the five-gallon, now you have one gallon left in the three. Empty the five, empty the one gallon in the three into the five, yeah. fill your three, then you have four split over two containers. Done. There Great. Go. Got it. Yeah. Nailed it. Uh, that that seems just like a lot of waste of water, though. Um, <laughs> when you could just guess. We just pour it back into the ocean. If okay. you have a uh, horizontal member with uh, 21 newtons of force on one <laughs> end of it, and, and then a distributed load on the other. <laughs> are, are they fig newtons? Yeah, fig newtons. I don't yeah. like this question. <laughs> <laughs> How about... I saw, <laughs> I saw my math teacher with a piece of graph paper yesterday. What you was did? he doing? You saw him with a piece of graph paper? Yeah. What was he doing? I don't Graphing. know. Plotting something. Oh. oh. <laughs> Seems suspicious. That was uh -huh. a joke. More so of a joke than a riddle. Okay. I add five to nine and get two. The answer is correct, so what am I? Is there no way to know? Different units of measurement. <laughs> if you add five to nine. I like this. Don't reveal the answer yet. You I get wanna, two. I wanna think about it. Big thinker right there. This game is a uh, lounge, feel free to play. This is Are You Smarter Than a Control Van? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You add five to nine and you get two. Mm-hmm. You get to what? You get two, the number two. Oh. I don't know. A clock. Oh. Uh, you have five hours to 9 a.m. and you get 2 p.m. Mm, I was thinking about a clock, but I couldn't get the logic of it. But yeah, five, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking five minutes to nine. How do you do it? No. All right, all right, that's fair enough, yeah. Oh, there's a section called Hard Riddles. Oh. oh. I thought oh. we were ready on the hard one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trevor's was hard. Not for some, though. We have math whizzes in the lounge. <laughs> Is he, you got a river, and then on one side of the river, you got a goat and a chicken. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you got a goat and some hay. Hay. And you got a wolf. Right? That's how it is. A goat, a wolf, and some hay. I've, I've, I've heard chicken also. But chicken and wolf and some hay. Um, and then and then you got to get to the other side. And Can you repeat the question? I think you're missing some key <laughs> details there. There's a there's a boat. <laughs> I, heard, I heard a goat, some chicken, a wolf, and hay. There's a boat, a chicken, hey. and a wolf, and some seeds. Okay. And you got... <laughs> In the boat, you can fit yourself you're and you're sending one me back to sixth grade when other I other thing heard this riddle. Um, and how do you? And if you if you leave the chicken and the uh, seed alone, um, <laughs> the chicken eats the seed. If you leave the wolf and the chicken alone, the wolf eats the chicken. Is that is that how it goes? That's Does everybody you're getting have there. to make okay, it? Okay, I do not remember this. I, I don't know why. Do you know the answer? Then how would we know the no. answer? I know the answer. <laughs> What's the answer? Well, you gotta think about it. I for don't a even bit. know the okay. question. Okay, you want me to try the question? That's a make the question very clear. Okay, you're okay. <laughs> Here we go. Rest. So you're standing on the side of the river and you gotta okay. cross it. You have a boat and it can fit you and two other things. Okay. You have three things with you. You have a wolf. You have a chicken, and you have some seed. So you can only take two across at a time. So you're gonna have to do a couple trips. And uh, but if you leave the chicken alone with the seed, let's say you just take the wolf, um, then the chicken's gonna eat the seed. If you leave the wolf alone with the chicken, the wolf's gonna eat the chicken. But the wolf doesn't care about the seed. So you can only fit you. So you can only fit the two things in the boat: you and one of the things. How do you get across the river? You take the chicken first. Okay, take the chicken first. Great, the wolf's not going to eat the seed. You drop the chicken off, then you go back. Then you, what do you do? Then you. Uh, then you, can you slow down on the winch, please. Then you take the the wolf. You gotta and switch leave it. it, and then take the chicken back with you, and then. No, take but the because seed. the the wolf is gonna. No, like you, you t no no. So you take the seed, yeah. or you take the chicken first and you leave it on the other I side, and you go back empty, and then you grab the wool for the seed or whatever, and then you take it to the other side, and then take the chicken back uh, with you, and right. then take the other thing, and then take the chicken. The chicken is the problem in this whole equation, right? Like, if there's no chicken, everything is fine. You sell True. the chicken, <laughs> buy another one on the other side. Also, just put the seed in your pocket. Yeah, no, it's a bag or of the seeds. chicken. Bag, whole bag of seeds. It's a big bag. Grain sack. Oh. How many trips do you get? Is there a limit to the number of trips? Because why wouldn't you just take the seed first? Because then the wolf would eat the chicken. Oh, that's that's fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you don't you want have that. to take the chicken first. You get a bigger boat. We're gonna need a bigger <laughs> boat. <laughs> um, okay, I have can one. Can chickens swim? Yes, they can. Have you never played rope. The Legend of Zelda? Where you've oh. thrown the cuckoos into the water and they swim? Well, those are cuckoos, not chickens. They're chickens. You take a you take a bucket. You put the chicken in the bucket. Um, chicken bucket. And you fry it. 
regular or colonel. extra crispy? And then Colonel Sanders shows extra up crispy. and helps you out. Yeah. I like extra crispy. I'm a fan of. Um, Back to food. Called? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> It's called Jolly Bee. I forgot what it was called, but I'm a fan of Jolly Bee more than I am of KFC. Jolly what? Jolly Bee. It's you mean Bolly G? Jolly Bee. It's the Filip Filipino you know, fast yeah. food chain. There's one like in Philly. Like B E E. The first one that opened Bee, like up. like Buzz Buzz Buzz. Yep. Hmm. The first one that opened up in North America was in Scarborough, Ontario. Hmm. Fun fact. Fun and fact. That was just like five years ago. There was a three-hour line. Wow. Yeah. My People in Ontario love to line up for food. I went I spent think six also, hours lining up for cheesecake. I think there's also like a high population. I was also 16. I had a lot of time oh. on my hands. <laughs> I think there's also a high population of Filipinos in Canada. In Scarborough as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and in Canada. There's East a Jolly Bee in the uh, food court at the Alamoana Center. Alamoana Mall. Oh, really? Yep. Really? I'd yep. be intrigued to try it. It's my very good. My old boss always wanted me to go to it. Like, she'd take, she's Filipino. Um, and she'd take me to like at, like a more authentic Filipino restaurants like near where our office was, um, and she was like, "But you're in Philly, so go to the Jolly Bee." But it was like kind of far away, <laughs> so I never went. I think at least try it. They have peach mango pie instead of apple pie. Oh. They have mm. like an ube smoothie, I think. Do they have mango knees pie? I don't think so. <laughs> Only at the Home Depot. <laughs> They also have Filipino spaghetti. What does that mean? It's spaghetti, but the tomato sauce is sweeter. Mm -hmm. um, and there's hot dogs in it. Right on. Wow. Does anyone remember um, the taste of like spaghetti day at high school or middle school or school? No. 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 I never no. had spaghetti day. We, we had baked spaghetti. What? Baked it was baked spaghetti. spaghetti. It was really oh. good. Well, it oh. was just like this really cheap watery sauce, but I loved it. Huh. Is it only our evening watch that we get to start talking about food? Is it because it's late at night or is this just our dynamic? <laughs> um, <laughs> just I, who we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think it usually happens during blue water. Also, I get really hungry yeah. on the evening watches. Yeah. Oh, I it's do. because I don't eat at the at midday dinner. watches we have lunch right after. Yeah, that's true. And breakfast just before. Yeah. Yeah. But I brought a snack today. Nice. What did What'd you bring? bring? <laughs> um, it's probably not the best van snack, but I bought the potato chips. Uh, mm. <laughs> oily and crumbly. I love that combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, but you can like inspect Magnum. my shirt, and there may be crumbs, but I'll eat them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can inspect my station, and there's no oil and crumbs. Okay. Well, at least not from me. Putting you down for Do cleaning the SCF station, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk more about Herc's diversity? Yes, I would love to. That sounds like a fun topic. I really want chat to be able to participate in Herc's diversity. I think that'd be so sweet. Yeah. I sent that to Madison. We'll see what she says. She says a conga line, a talent show. A Skittles cake. Ooh. There's talk of, like, Y2K theming because <laughs> I that makes sense the 2000 because it's um, dive 2000. The I know the team ashore has plans for like hosting things, but as far as I know, is that your artwork? Wow. I feel like that tunicate was like a decent diversity balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Blow it back up. <laughs> yeah, that we're gonna need four hands to pull that out of the bio box. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's slippery? Yeah. Will it like slip through all your hands? Kind of like a and it weird has water worms. balloon. Is it in both Lambda and Omega? Yes. No, no it's only there, in the one. There are some rock pebbles that might be in Omega, but most of it's in Lambda. Hmm. It took them like 30 minutes to 
get that thing in there. It nice. was pretty big. It, it like They had to like curl it around to fit in there. Like a spaghetti. What did you call it? They're spaghettiing it? Yeah, <laughs> they did the, well, they spaghettied it with uh, Kraft and then stuffed it in with Magnum at the same time. Some serious work. Nice. They get a uh, first slice of the dive anniversary cake. <laughs> oh, thanks, chat, for reminding me I have to update the thing. <laughs> oh. Chat's got your back. I know. Chat's got my back. Thanks, chat. Got to update the thing. Atalanta's first dive. Do we know? Yeah. Uh, 2019. 2019. Yeah, sea trials were going between Hawaii and uh, uh, the west coast of North America, somewhere. San Pedro. Was it San Pedro? Nah. Might have been Oregon. We, I can't we remember. Were coming, yeah, we were coming off. San Francisco coast, is where it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah. They did a little hurt then too, didn't they? I don't remember. Were, were you on that then? Yeah, we were in the middle of the Pacific and found uh, a high spot, a, a sea mount. Yeah. And, and dove on it. Uh, How do you remember that? It's like I was on the cruise. I I, I don't remember. Were you I remember, piloting? Yeah. We were testing out the 4K camera. Ah, oh, that's oh. right. Yeah. And we spent an extraordinary amount of time. So the same one we commissioned Atalanta on? I believe same so. cruise? Yeah. Okay. I believe so. We spent an inordinate amount of time trying to get the 4K camera to look good. Still have not succeeded. But it's another story. Bring her up to 30. Roger. Trying to figure out when Atalanta's dive anniversary is, or if we even keep track of that. Atalanta's only had one dive on its own. Oh. Is that true? Huh. But what about how many dives she's had with uh, Herc, or Little Herc? Oh yeah, had several of those. Several of those. That doesn't seem right. That's I don't think they update the ones besides Herc. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they do. They do, but they do? we yeah, shouldn't I mean, be on... Those are our current dive numbers. T1001? Can oh. we start at 1000000? Zero, 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 zero? Interesting. Oh, this is zero indexed. Huh. I mean, that is the only way we keep track of dive numbers, is this little whiteboard. It's just a piece of paper in a plastic sleeve. That is the official thing. So, different uh, nav crew take pictures of that and, and take it with them. I know Samantha does, I know Rennie does, mm -hmm. uh, Lynette May, not sure. It's just, it's hilarious that that's the official one. True. It's like how the metric system is defined off of a kilogram, which is a block of t tungsten? T tungsten, I think? Some some metal somewhere. I thought it was uh, the square centimeter of water. Uh, yeah, but what's a centimeter? that much water. <laughs> right? You have to choose one something. Gram, right? Yeah, but one gram, you know, kilogram. So they pick the kilogram and define meters off of that. Interesting. I think recently that's changed in the last five or ten years to something more atomic, if I'm not mistaken, but for like a hundred years the definition was a uh, kilogram. Isn't the difference between metric and SI? Units? Because uh, they both use down, like please? milligram and kilogram and whatnot. Pretty sure SI is metric. Or like uses some metric. SI uses Kelvin, that's the difference. And metric uses Celsius. 
Yeah, which are the same thing. They're just scaled yeah. differently. Or not even scaled differently. They just pick a different zero point. Yeah, because Kelvin starts at absolute zero, and then yeah. Celsius starts at the freezing point of water. Yeah. At standard pressure, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you know what doesn't make sense? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Rankin. Rank Rankine? Rankin? That's the absolute zero version of Fahrenheit. Oh, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. Where zero Rankin is absolute zero, and you go up with the same steps as Fahrenheit. I heard that Fahrenheit is based on, like, how humans perceive temperature. Like, in that if you think of zero degrees Fahrenheit as zero percent warm, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit as 100 percent warm. That's very bizarre and funny. In a very subjective manner. Oh. I don't know if that even makes sense. No, it doesn't. It's Fahrenheit. Zero Fahrenheit is very cold. 100 percent, zero percent warm. It's very funny. Because <laughs> I start getting I cold at like 50. 50 percent warm? I guess. <laughs> I, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually how it is, but I've heard it described that way. Maybe you can find something in between those two. Roger. Or I'll slow down actually, because oh, well I have to. I have to pull ahead. I moved so it. I moved it to 22. Roger. So I'm, I'm going to end up slowing that. down because of this pull ahead here. And now it's here. 25 for some reason. I think the ship heaved. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing, winch? <laughs> ay ay ay. Wait for it to adjust. Chat facts, the kilogram used to be based off a physical object, but they changed it in 2019. And they said, yes, there's an, yes, there's an organization that maintains standards in physical form that are insanely accurate, but they're starting to move away from that to it being based on a more precise atomic method. I, I actually wrote that in a chat. <laughs> you did? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's what I thought. Um, and for those of you tuning in watching, um, we are ascending. We started our dive at about 3,000 meters, um, and we made our way up a slope to the peak of a unnamed seamount in the northwest region of Johnson Atoll to about 2,100 meters. And now we are ascending. We're at 1,200 meters. And it will take us approximately how many hours? One ish. 62 minutes. Is that correct? Uh, no. Uh. We're going to be up at the top of the air at uh, five zero minutes. 50 minutes? 50 minutes past the hour. 10 minutes to midnight. So an hour. Science, I cannot wait until you all get that tuna kit out. Mm. Right, Annabelle, are you going to watch? Yes. You're going to come to the lab to process it? Yes. I, I want to I wanna see at least, I want to see it get pulled out of the bio are we gonna okay. be? Are we going to be lurking in the corners again? <coughs> I might, yeah, I might be doing a little lurking. Uh, that tuna kit was impressive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll be lurking. <laughs> lurching. Lurking. Like an urchin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's keep that speed. That's a good speed. It's the perfect speed. Roger. I am just not going to touch it. Ah! <laughs> So anybody have some exciting plans planned for the rest of the year? Rest of the year? Yeah, like, I don't know, trips or anything exciting happening? 
A lot of academic travel. Academic travel? Academic travel. To where? Travel from my thesis. <laughs> to California and to when I, the next ship I'm going on for 40 days Ooh. is to the Galapagos Rift and we're leaving from, I want to say Panama. That sounds nice. Or Costa cool. Rica or That's Ecuador. Amazing. It keeps changing, <laughs> but I think it's solidified now. I just haven't looked at the email yet. I want to go. You can come. <laughs> no, yeah. you can't. I'm sorry. Aww. I'm sorry, John, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> no one can go. <laughs> Don't want to be giving up spots on a cruise that I did not organize. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been in planning motion for like over a year. We were supposed to go in January to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We were supposed to be the first expedition that was going to be on the new Falcor 2 ship. But there was a technical difficulty. <laughs> hmm. So that's my travel. Is anybody else going anywhere? I have an all-expense paid trip uh, to Hawaii. Wow. Uh, ah. Followed by a uh, sea cruise. So. Oh, yeah. I think I had one of those, too. Well, I have another one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All expenses. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be back out here. I'll be off for a month. So flying to Portland on the 30th, driving to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho on the 31st, spending Labor Day weekend uh, visiting Port my granddaughter. Portland, Idaho? Um, from Port Portland to Idaho. Yeah, from Portland to okay. Idaho. It's about Portland, a Idaho. About a six-hour day. Meeting my wife in Portland. She's flying in from Anchorage. Got a really exciting trip coming up to Oregon. Yeah. Go Beavs. <laughs> Go Beavs. I think I might be going to Oregon in November. Oh, yay. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. We're in Oregon. Well, Medford, but I can drive anywhere. Wow. We should meet up. We should meet up and see some, like, sea lions or something. Yeah, yeah. Florence. We come to Florence. I mean, I'll have to go by Florence yeah. I mean, if, I, if I go that way. And you're going to be in Newport, right? I'll be in Newport, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's meet up in Newport. Ooh. I'll have to get you a number. How long are you going to be in Newport? Uh, the the whole, whole term. Oh, really? So until have you December. Have you been to the Newport Aquarium? I have been to the Newport Aquarium. It's pretty awesome. We can go meet up at the Newport Aquarium. I've only been there once. Oh, that'd be fun. And we then we can go, go tide to pooling. What about, um, what's the word? Depot Bay. Uh, look for whales there. I've never heard of that. We can oh. do that. Depot Bay is pretty nice. We'll plan it. It's north of Newport. Yep. We want to drag Dave even further north. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Depends on uh, what else is going on. Also depends on what my wife's schedule is. And the <laughs> construction schedule of the new bathroom. Oh, the new oh, bathroom. Yes. That's quite the task. But uh, but if you come through Florence, we'll go out for dinner or something. So yeah. See here at Nautilus Live, we explore the ocean, but we also explore friendship. Oh, <laughs> friendship. Oh, friendship. Nice. You explore it. <laughs> yeah, just you know, stay check there, it out. You know. Yeah. See what it's like, and you then gotta leave. Gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on standby to go out on another ship. Uh, right after I get off of this one. So, fly to Portland, drive to Coeur d'Alene, visit with the granddaughter, fly out of Spokane. To Victoria, back to Victoria. Nice, Tully? Gone in the Tully, yeah. Yes. Awesome. Uh, I'm hoping Tammy will take that, that gig, but she's still waiting on her clearance. Hmm. How's uh, she doing? She doing good? Yeah, yeah, she's just been staying home mom. Yeah, kiddo's good? Yeah. Awesome. I'm sure she's itching to go back to sea. She is. Yeah. She wants to to get out and uh, speak with adults again. That yeah, makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> Anybody else have anything? <coughs> Alaska for Christmas. Wow. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Oh. Uh, we do the inverse snowbird thing, which is dumb. We. We stay in Oregon during the summer, and then I'm mm -hmm. uh, here most of the summer, and then go to uh, Alaska for the holidays. That sounds nice. Uh, I've, I've had enough winter, thank you. <laughs> but that's where the kids are, most of the kids. 
There's a little uh, jellyfish between the two ROVs. Goodbye, nice. jellyfish. Oh, yeah, it's gone now. I start my new job when I get back. Exciting. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned many times to you guys, I'm just very hyped for it now that it's only like a week away. Or I guess two weeks, because it's a week after I get back. So I guess four weeks, three <laughs> weeks, because I'm staying in Hawaii for a week. Uh, did y'all hear about that solar eclipse happening in April? Yeah. No. That's cool. It's going to shoot right through the U.S. <coughs> um, I don't, through like Rochester, New York, and then through like the middle of Texas, and then end at some tourist town in Mexico on the west coast that begins with an M that I don't remember what it's called. Mazatlan. What? I just took a guess. Oh. Um, but it's happening on one of my friend's 30th birthdays, so we were thinking about going to that town in Mexico to see the eclipse on her birthday. That's cool. Yeah. Is that the other vehicle in the sonar there? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, everyone, you can't fall asleep now. We got 50 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Any cool dreams? Not really, none that I can remember right now. And also that I'm willing to share <laughs> with the entire world. <laughs> My cool dream stopped with the pina coladas. <laughs> <laughs> what are we most looking forward to when we get back to land? Uh, pina colada. My pina dog. coladas. A beer. <laughs> Wait, Paula and I are going to street. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good I answer. what it's called. <laughs> Nikos? Yeah. <laughs> Do they have pina coladas? There? I have been told they have nice, fun drinks and mixed drinks. I'll Ooh, be going. Yeah. I'm going to see, but we have plenty of time. I don't we believe we're allowed to go to Nico's. We can no. Go. No. We're not allowed to. We're, the COVID restrictions still apply. We just can't come back inside. So yeah, once, yeah, yeah, I could leave my Once you're off on the, the ship, yeah. Yeah. And not you're come back me. inside. So that, that has to be on the 29th. I guess we're getting back on the 29th, either yeah. way. I fly out that night. Yeah, I think most of us do. I'd also like to see if I have Doc Rock or not. Oh, you will. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah. Me neither. Just when you uh, when you head down the, the gangway and you hit the uh, the dock, and then you head for the gate to go to 7-Eleven or the coffee place or something like that the first morning or whatever like that, you'll find that you can't walk a straight line. The best is when you go off the ship and directly to a hotel. You're like, I need a shower. Get into the shower. Oh. oh. And then you're just no kind of sloshing There's around. No yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because here it's like the shower is sloshing, but you stay still. <laughs> and then it's going to be your sloshing and the shower stays still. Yeah, and exactly. I feel like that's a little bit worse somehow. Yeah. Well, I'll be sloshed. <laughs> 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 a lot of sloshing going on. <laughs> the shower in the bathroom I'm in is hard because there's a handle, but I feel like it's on the wrong wall. Hmm. It's on the side wall. <laughs> So like you have to like twist yourself to hold onto it while you're sloshing around. You have a handle in your shower? <laughs> Fancy. Yeah. 
My shower is small enough that I don't have a handle. You just can't fall over. Yeah, that's that's where we're at. We don't we don't have a handle. We we, we don't even ha we have a wall. Oh, our shower is huge. Then. Wow. Yeah. Which room are you in? Um, the one next to the engine you can room. Than it. Oh, Annabelle. I was getting a little ahead before I zip out again. Uh, 50? Yeah, 50. Or 51. Mm -hmm. yeah. That first shower on the on the ship during transit was rough though. It was. <laughs> I don't even remember. Probably a good thing. What are you all going to miss the most about the ship? People. Yeah. Who said that? Maronke. Uh -huh. Are you surprised? No, I just, <laughs> I just didn't know who said that. <laughs> Bacon for breakfast every day. Deja I said, vu. I said that Deja already. Vu. Yeah. I know, but still. Doesn't make it any less true. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just means you really are going to miss it. True. You ever made your own bacon? No. You like cure a pork belly kind yeah. of thing? No, I yeah, haven't. smoke it? No. Bacon from your own meat? I got yeah. a buddy who does that and just gives me bacon, it's great. Wow. I've, oh, I've, wow. I've wanted to do it. I've made my own pastrami. I made a big batch. I, I got a smoker. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, last winter, and, uh, and made pastrami, and that was great. Nice. Uh, and I haven't figured out the cured thing yet. i got to figure out curing. So I cheated. I used uh, store-bought uh, corned beef, mm. which comes already cured, right? Mm. But then you soak it in, in water overnight to take all the brine out of it. Oh, okay. And then let it dry overnight. Uh, in the fridge kind of thing. So it's a couple of days worth of that. Cool. But it came out really, really well. I'm excited about it. We have a couple more hundred meters till the oxygen minimum. Is that a thing? Yep. Maybe 300. We're at 47 micromoles per liter right now, and a depth of 948 meters. Usually it bottoms out around 27. Chat asked, was this your last dive? No, we're out here until the 20, well, the expedition's still the 29th, but we got a transit a couple days back, so we're out here for another week. It's our last dive of the day. Yes. True that. True that. And our first dive of the day. Will That's it true, be? yeah. It was, yeah. I would say, like, what's our favorite dive, but I cannot remember any of them by number. The dive with the three octopus. Yeah, yeah my, my favorite one was good. definitely the one that was outside the easy. Which was the one with the octopus. I think I was like pleasantly surprised by that by that dive. It was it was really cool. Yes. Yeah. Was that the one that we also had the beautiful geology? Yes. Yeah. The cliffs and yeah, mm -hmm. that was a gorgeous one. The ice one. cream scoop one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a great dive. Um, chat wants to know if we can explain the oxygen minimum zone and why it is there. <laughs> Rob, do you want to explain it? You explain it so beautifully. Yeah. And you haven't said anything in a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, the oxygen minimum zone, it's a area of low oxygen that's dissolved in the water column. And uh, it's there because 
at the surface, you have phytoplankton that are photosynthesizing, and they're creating oxygen through photosynthesis. And uh, so they have a lot of good oxygen in the surface water. But at some point, they die or get eaten, and pellets go down, and they start to sink. And when they sink, the reverse happens. Instead of photosynthesis happening, you get respiration, which is basically rotting. And that sucks up the oxygen that's in the water column. And so you get a oxygen minimum zone. And they call it a minimum zone because below that, the oxygen starts to come up slightly, not nearly as much as it is in the surface waters above, but it uh, ends up being high because water is infecting from other parts of the world that have been at the surface, like Antarctic intermediate water, Antarctic deep water, or North Pacific deep water. Thank you. And that concludes the segment of Oxygen Minimum Zone with Rob. Thank you, Rob. I have a would you rather for everybody. Ooh. Sure thing. Would you rather have legs the length of fingers or fingers the length of legs? <laughs> I already have legs the length of fingers, so I know which I'm picking. <laughs> I mean, it never specifies whose legs. So maybe we already have fingers the length of legs. I'd rather have Dave's legs that are the length of my fingers. I also have my legs, but I just also have Dave's legs. <laughs> what? Why Dave's legs? I don't know. <laughs> like if it was some sort of like bird or bug or something, I think that our fingers are already that long as, as okay, long okay. as their legs. Mm. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Would you rather have your fingers the length of your legs or your legs the length of your fingers? Well, either one, no matter which one I pick, it's the same answer. <laughs> what? If I had legs the length of my fingers, my fingers are the same length as my legs. Okay. All right. <laughs> if your fingers and legs are the same length, would you rather have them be short or long? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> No. <laughs> Still trying to figure out how my legs got in on this thing. I don't know. Good question. I didn't want to shrink my legs, so I might as well get some other legs. I, I didn't say they had to be attached to my legs. body. Other legs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Fish. Oh, there it goes. So you would make Gage Dave's legs? I would take Dave's legs and have them short. On Dave. Well, I don't know if they're, I don't care if they're on or off Dave. I just have them. <laughs> <laughs> and they would you be short. You have them. Yeah. It's creepy. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you, Dave, you better watch out. Lock if I went the other way, if I, had, if I had Dave's leg-sized fingers, they'd be harder to store. You know, they take up more space. I'm just thinking practically. Why do you want? <laughs> I don't want any of this. <laughs> you forced it upon me. Check the Atalanta cam, y'all. Look at that. Look, there's a thing. It's squishy. <laughs> oh, squishy. Yeah, Either way, I'm out here. my legs. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> or your sure. fingers. I'm sure I, I don't want any other things. <laughs> what if it was just like two fingers? Like, it it doesn't have to be all your fingers, right? Like. Yeah. Do thumbs count as fingers? Are our fingers thumbs? And it's just what? length, right? It's not like width. Most of my fingers are not thumbs. <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> Would you rather have thumbs? <laughs> <laughs> time, yeah. Yeah. Time to move yeah, on. Yeah. Just time to move on. I would rather have thumbs. Yeah, I'd rather have thumbs than no thumbs. <laughs> Chat okay. wants to know our favorite type of chocolate. Dark chocolate, seventy-two <laughs> percent. I'm a seventy-four percent kind of guy, but uh, oh. I'm I'm right there with you. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Um, yeah. My favorite type of chocolate is mint chocolate chip. <laughs> You dare look this in my direction. This is aggressive. <laughs> Actually, I do really like those Andes mint chocolates. Thin mint Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> okay, I got a good would you rather. Would you rather travel in Europe or Southeast Asia? Southeast Asia. All right, only one answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't been to either, so. Never, I, I, yeah, I've never been to either of so those. So which would you so. pick? If you, if you had uh, to go to Europe. the plane tomorrow. 
Europe? Whichever yeah. one. Well, it depends Europe. on where, to be honest. I think you can pick within those boundaries. I've been to a lot of countries in Europe, and I have never been to Southeast Asia. Let me see who's in the chat Which before I answer. Which direction is that going? <laughs> I'm from tell. Europe, so. <laughs> <laughs> that way? Is it this way? <laughs> I'd rather walk to Southeast Asia. Paolo says, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do both. We can't yeah. choose both. That's the whole point of would you rather. <laughs> would I rather do both? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather you guys have fingers the size of legs and legs the size of fingers? Yes. Yeah, see in Southeast Asia? <laughs> but legs the size of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Europe and you have legs the size of fingers, or if you're in Southeast Asia and you have fingers the size of legs, would you rather Thailand taste fingers? like dark or mint chocolate flavored finger sized <laughs> legs? <laughs> wow. That spiraled very quickly. That spun way out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Chad thinks having three foot long fingers would get broken easily and they'd smash and jam them. Well, if you only had three of them long. and they How were one foot each. Legs? Yeah. Are your legs not? <laughs> that's true. What if the length of your legs was distributed evenly through your fingers? Right, yeah. How long are all my fingers? <laughs> I don't know. Two feet. I had two and a half feet of fingers, probably. How long are my legs? <laughs> three feet, according to chat, so maybe I just have slightly longer fingers. Yeah, that'd be three, all right. Is it really three feet? I don't trust that the legs are three feet. That feels Not my legs. Three maybe feet that chat is tall. Legs. Maybe my fingers are the same length as my legs already. Like if you put all your fingers together, like end on end? End to end, yeah. That maybe it would the be the same length as, as your legs. I don't think that is true. I have really long fingers and terribly short legs. so I don't think it, it really equals that much. Maybe. There's no way to know. There is a way to know. What's your finger to leg ratio? Oh yeah, we measured ape index earlier today. <laughs> put it, put in the familiar? chat, what's your finger to leg ratio? <laughs> you folks familiar with the ape index? We don't want to dox them. <laughs> no, what's the ape index? Ape index is how close to a Vitruvian person you are. Your wingspan versus your height. It's uh, oh. a Vitruvian person. The Vitruvian, Vitruvian man? Oh, Leonardo da Vinci? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, DiCaprio. Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> like the Ninja Turtle, or? <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait. Got it. What's everyone's least favorite Ninja Turtle? Because I feel really strongly about this. Oh okay. Boy. <laughs> the purple one. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Why? He's just annoying. Uh. <laughs> The color is annoying, or the least favorite the turtle ninja turtle. Itself. turtle. <laughs> wow, what rails? <laughs> There's no rails on this. It's nearly midnight. What We're is already Chad getting talking about? Chat said, "Aren't your legs just extension of your fingers?" Yeah, what? Good, point, good point, chat. <laughs> chat, I think you know the human. <laughs> chat, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> just think about it. As they say, the finger bones connected to the leg bone. Yeah. Finger's just an extension of your leg. Legs. I think the purple one's name is Leonardo. Leonardo. And Raf Raphael is the red one. They're I all think. named after like Renaissance artists. Yeah, yeah they are. I, I like the orange one the best. What's I, their name? Oh wait, no, maybe the no, maybe the purple one's Donatello. Oh, God, I'm gonna look it up. Actually, the, I have the internet on my fingers, my finger legs. <laughs> <laughs> the internet at your legs. <laughs> leg tips. <laughs> World Wide Web at my leg tips. <laughs> oh. I didn't spell turtles right. We, um, I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles. Hey, Rob's still there. Hey. He's here. How He's your fingers feel? All in. Or your legs. <laughs> kind of leggy. The, soaking in the leg fingers. I hope I get to soak my fingers in the tepid tub. <laughs> Just your hey, fingers. This is uh, this is fascinating, everybody. But Panos is going to take over in video. Thank goodness. I have awesome. a I have a 6 a.m. V-Link test with a guy on the East Coast tomorrow morning, so I'm going to head to that. Okay. Hit the Sleep bed well. a little good night. Good night. All right, good night all. Your legs. Rest um. those weary weary legs. <laughs> Leonardo is the blue one. Raphael is the red one. Donatello is the purple one, and Michelangelo is the orange one. I like Michelangelo the best because he's kind of like the cool bad boy one, you know? Mm. It's Is been he? so long Turtle? since I watched TV. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hello from Paros. Hello. 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 And welcome. Ask, ask Paros the same questions. <laughs> <laughs> Panos, would you rather have legs <laughs> the length of no, your fingers or no. fingers the length of your legs? Can would you, you rather have legs the length of your legs or fingers the length of your fingers? <laughs> Neither. I like my legs. <laughs> <laughs> you just, um, someone in chat just measured their legs as 36 inches long to the hip, but they are six feet tall. Wow. 36 inches. How many... What is that in that's centimeters? Three, that's three feet. <laughs> it is three feet. <laughs> yeah. that's th what? Those are some three Thanks. foot legs for you. <laughs> that's those three foot legs. I love how we've got chat in their homes measuring their legs. Presumably like, with a measuring tape. Chat, Ooh. Ooh. Hey, chat, measure your ape index. <laughs> Chat's got a good would you rather. Would you rather have transparent eyelids or taste buds on your feet? Oh, transparent eyelids. Transparent, transparent eyelids. Transparent eyelids. Sure. eyelids for sure. You can just put a mask on. They'll be fine. Be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be. Like Who would pick that? Who would ever pick that? Imagine you no step on a, a, a butterfly or perhaps an octopus. <laughs> We'd have a big problem. <laughs> there are a lot worse things you can step on. Like showered, showering would be a nightmare. You know, octopus, Ooh. they have taste buds on their suckers, like Dumbo. Oh. Uh, don't don't bumblebees have taste buds on their feet? Probably. There, I mean, there's animals out there who have that, who have that situation. I mean, dogs eat poo, so. Yeah. My you know, dog eats poo. Not, not a great benchmark. Yeah. You know, bees communicate by dance. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. And if you were to pay bees minimum wage, a jar of honey would cost eighty thousand dollars. Hard workers. Yeah, or it could be. And we complain. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, getting into a little bit of dangerous territory <laughs> there. Change the subject. Is that fish. a little fish? A little fish. <laughs> Is Save it? Us. No, it's not a fish. Save us. Is it a fish? Is it like a little wormy thing? A little floaty bit. I wonder if when we get to the surface, we'll see all the squids and lantern fish again. Oh, that would be exciting. I feel like we're already starting to see a little more life once we're up past the oxygen minimum. We haven't quite reached it yet. We're at 32. Would you want to live in the oxygen minimum? Probably not. No. When they do their migration, do they have to like hold their breath or? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cute. I think <laughs> they pass through it quickly enough. It's okay. not a problem. How long does it last for? It's always there. <laughs> no, I meant like how... <laughs> I meant how like... How, many how deep is yeah, it? Yeah, how many meters does it last for? It really kind of depends on your benchmark because it, it descends quite slowly. Like where we were when we started ascending, it was at 87. Now it's at 32. It's taken almost 2,000 or around 2,000 meters to get that way. So, yeah, I'd, I'm not sure. I think it depends on the species as well, what their tolerance would be like, but I can't imagine it affects them too much as long as they don't stay there. <laughs> One of the other SCFs, Dan, Danielle, that from Hawaii said that we need to go to bed because this was out of control. You're right. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle said. Whoop. Auto depth. Nope. Would you That's rather it. have legs the length of fingers or mango knees? <laughs> <laughs> like knees made of mangoes? Mango or mango knees. knees. Isn't that the same thing? I mean, what is it? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just said it differently. <laughs> <laughs> We have manganese on our boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But do we have manganese? Manganese. Made out of mangoes would be very dangerous. You'd mm. probably never walk again. So I'm gonna go with the yeah. fingers. What if your kneecap was just a mango seed? Mm, mm. Then I'd plant my knees in hopes to <laughs> spread fruit. That gave me like the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> do we have more? Would you rather's or riddles or? We can have some more in a jiffy. 
Jerry. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> what? Oh, have we had the superpower conversation we on our? Have. Yeah. Okay. We have. No one liked my answer. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? Can, but what was the what? first part? Would you rather see 10 oh. minutes into the future or 150 oh. years into the future? That's an interesting question. Ooh. 10 minutes. 150 I think years. 150 years, yeah. Why? Because like 10 minutes, we'll <laughs> I'll, I'll know soon enough, you know? And it's probably nothing fun. Like the lottery. Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. but you don't yeah, have time to go on. Yeah, it's been too late. years, you know what's happening, but it won't be enough to affect your time. Yeah, but, like, really. then I'll know, you know, and other people will be like, oh, my God, you know, and I'll be like, I know. Nobody <laughs> would believe you. That's yeah. okay. But if it were 10 minutes, it would be provable. I feel like winning, I mean, winning the lottery is definitely great, but I feel like it's a hassle. So you just win at casinos a little bit here and there. Can you do only do it once? Can you change no the future? I think you you have the ability, so it would be a consistent ability. Like 150 years, it wouldn't matter. But if you can see 10 10 minutes into the future, like, what sort of like can you change it? Like, is it a possible future or is it the guaranteed future? Good question. Good caveat. Oh, here's a good one. <laughs> Are we ready to move on? Yep. Would you rather give up air conditioning and heating for the rest of your life or give up the internet for the rest of your life? I would move internet. to a place where you don't need heating and give up air conditioning and heating. Probably the internet. Probably the internet, yeah. I might do the internet. I feel like we I'd be free. Sorry, for the chat. rest of we your can life. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Think about <laughs> Sorry, <all> chat. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> We love you, but no. That's very funny. What is that in oh, Atlantis? Oh, not no to we love you, but no to the oh. internet. <laughs> Let me clarify. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another one. Would you rather be in jail for five years or a coma for ten years? It jail. depends jail. on the jail. <laughs> coma? So we're all going together then. <laughs> Except for Paula. <laughs> Except for Paula, she'll be in a coma. Because That's why we're be, in jail. Because we like teletransport. Like, <laughs> you get asleep and then. That's true. And when you wake up and then 10 yeah. years. Isn't that kind of like seeing into the future in a way? <laughs> <laughs> it's like time travel, sort of. I mean, it's. <laughs> Would you rather have universal respect or unlimited power? Right. But like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, like, I guess it's like, would you rather be a Nobel Pr Peace Prize winner yeah, or a Nobel Prize, Prize winner, Einstein. or would you rather yeah. be like Thanos? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was <laughs> laughing. I was laughing at another question on the list. I don't think I'd want to be Thanos. I don't want to be famous. Thanos. <laughs> I don't want to be famous or Thanos. You, you would not have to pay for uh, electricity ever again, though. Ooh. Ooh. Unlimited power. Unlimited, unlimited power. Yeah. I Wait, Doesn't unlimited respect come with power? And with power comes responsibility. With great power. What were you laughing about? <laughs> with great power comes no more energy bill. Yeah, or energy crisis in the world. You can yeah. solve... Uh, climate change and people would respect you for that yeah i think so mm. no you'd be a real jerk about it <laughs> <laughs> um, i was laughing at would you rather vomit on your hero or have your hero vomit on you i'd rather vomit on my hero <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no way does everybody here have a hero am there's i weird no in not having a hero i don't i don't know i don't really you know what trevor you're my hero no don't vomit on me <laughs> I picked the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a specific hero, but I have people that I admire, for sure. <laughs> but you definitely don't want to be vomited on. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Absolutely you know, not what if so. those people just stop being your hero so that doesn't have to happen? Like, 
ever. A true hero would accept being vomited on. <laughs> How many uh, Who thinks of these questions? listeners do we have on the chat right now? Dropping off. <laughs> would you rather listen to us or go to bed? <laughs> On the surface. Yeah. We have 20 minutes, minutes of, of madness. madness. <laughs> Our oxygen minimum was 32 micromoles right. per liter. Awesome. Here's one. Have we been to sea for too long? <laughs> or thank you so much. Or have we not been to sea for long enough? <laughs> I would say not long enough. Agreed. Nope. Oh, ooh, chat's got a good one. Would you rather have everything you eat have the consistency of jello or always have the feeling of a small rock in your left shoe? Why are they such negative ones? What if we had more positive ones? <laughs> what would you rather have? I'd rather have more positive would you rathers. Huh. Um. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a tough decision, though. I guess you could have tough positives. Tough well, positives, yeah, yeah, like unlimited would power or responsibility or whatever that one would was. Would you rather see a giant squid or, oh my gosh, I can't think of another one. A blue one. whale. A blue, a blue whale? No, I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> what's equivalent to giant squid? I feel like that's the coolest thing that you could see. Aqua 50 squash? squat lobsters. We had two good answers. Or there. Squat Lobster Atlantis. Squat, like squat a whole Lobster city Civilization. Built by squat lobster. Yeah. Oh, wow. Time That'd be so adorable. It's gotta be that one. It would be so small. Think of the papers you could publish. <laughs> I'll be honest, that's not what I would think about. <laughs> <laughs> not a very good scientist. I wouldn't think about that either. Would you rather lounge by a pool or on a beach? Beach. 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 We're a bunch of ocean explorers. What do you think the answer would be? Yeah. Beach. Okay, lake or ocean? Ocean. Oh, um, tough. I don't think I've ever been to a lake beach. Are there mosquitoes? Oh, that's a good question. Because there aren't mosquitoes at, on the lakes. In no the mosquitoes, South just Vancouver horse flies. Horse flies? Absolutely no, not. That's worse. No, no. That's worse. Those yeah. hurt. Those yeah, take a good. chunk out of you. Yeah. With no remorse. No. They'll take a chunk out of you, yeah. Would you rather have a pause button or a rewind button for your life? Rewind. Because you just do that fast enough, it's like pause. Okay. <laughs> Loophole finder is my superpower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always have a full phone battery or a full gas tank? Gas, gas tank. tank. Gas tank. What if the Nautilus always had a full gas tank? We could go anywhere. Think we of the mapping we could do. Think of the mapping we could do. Except we don't burn gas, so it'd be not very useful. That's fair. <laughs> Rats. Fuel. Fuel. Petrol. Oh, if you could bring one thing with you on an island, a deserted island, what would you bring? A book. Rescue team. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One thing. A helicopter. EV Nautilus. With fuel. <laughs> the whole ship. <laughs> Nautilus, the, sh the ship is on the land with you. Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> These questions go so differently in my good. head. Yeah. You know how to fly a helicopter, though? Gonna have to learn. Yeah. You could do a hot air balloon. But I feel like that's pretty easy to fly. Oh, yeah. That's true. I don't, are they easy to fly? Not as exciting. I don't know. Very but slow. they have, they, yeah, I don't know. Do just the hot air and the balloon. Yeah. <laughs> Good point, yeah. It's only two ingredients. Well, 
No, three, because you need hot and you need air and you need balloon. Oh yeah, not just air balloon, yeah. Would you rather never be able to go out during the day or never be able to go out at night? Never at night. I think never at night, even though I'm like an <coughs> evening person. Yeah. Okay, here's one for you. Hi, what do you if you could choose to never sleep again, but also never feel tired, would you do it? Yes. Yes. Okay, everyone's default sleeping. answer is yes, but think about it, like, you can't, like, you know, sleep next to your partner or something. Yeah. They're still living their life, and there you go, like, you gotta, what are you gonna do, lie there for eight hours bored? No, I'd lie there until they fall asleep, and then for okay. a little bit longer, and then okay. I'd do my own thing. Okay, now let's, let's switch this up a bit. If you didn't need to eat for the rest of your life, but also couldn't, would you do that? That'd be terrible, no. Um, I, I like eating. tasting, yeah. I don't know. Could I taste still? That's a good question. You just like put stuff in your mouth and chew it around <laughs> for a bit? Like gum yeah. style? Yeah, no. yeah. I feel like it'd be okay if that was if that was part of the deal. No, let's say you couldn't eat anything. You couldn't, couldn't taste anything couldn't either? Couldn't taste, couldn't consume. Um, but you also I never needed to. You'd be you know, perfect fitness, whatever you needed to do, manage your diet, all this kind of stuff. It would be solved problem. You never needed to think about it again, but everyone else in your life still ate food and... No, no I'd so want to join them, yeah. yeah I you could still join them, you just couldn't consume the food. Yeah, but like, what... Can you drink you know? things? Can you like, drink liquid? You know, question both ways. <laughs> can I smell the food? Sure, yeah. You both wouldn't be able to vomit on them either. <laughs> <laughs> then we solved the problem. <laughs> Both of my parents' cultures revolve around food so much. I feel like I'd be missing out on like everything. Uh, point three. If I didn't eat. Yeah. What would happen to these food? van conversations? Yeah, we wouldn't have anything to talk about. But it's also tempting. Think about like. I do say I do have a crisis every time I think about. It. I have to find something to eat for the rest of my life every yeah, day. Yeah. Like having, having to like, yeah. I don't know. You could camp forever. Yo, that's true. I'd rather get a full night's sleep in two hours. Ooh. Like, just cut it down, but not completely miss it. I could live the rest of my life without sleep. Yeah. If I, I didn't need it. It's so lonely. Everybody's asleep, and you're just, like, But it, everybody's not asleep, because there's people that work at night, you know? And there's That's true. People that stay up all night because they can't sleep. I guess you would just have fun during the day and then have your work day at night. <laughs> here, yeah. goes, here goes Morongay, pretend you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> shrimp. Oh, shrimp. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm going to be checking. Oh, so I found a four. Oh. Oof. <laughs> That's got to go on the soundboard as well. What? Ooh. 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 <laughs> 50 shrimp. We can make so much shrimp scampi. I there was a period in my life where I refused to eat shrimp. Hey. Really? Yeah, I just thought they were so cute. Not me. Whoa, it's a little bit of jelly. jelly. We're at 261 meters and we're starting to see more and more life in the water column. No lantern fish yet, though. They're a little bit more shallow. Oh, okay. Up. Up. Oh. That one? Up. We got some shrimp. Oh, what was that? A little cone jelly? A little or jelly. Uh? That was very funny. <laughs> I was crying. Oh, we got one in the Atalanta cam again. Another shrimp? No, a jelly? Jelly and a shrimp. And a shrimp. I guess we'll put the count at 51. Would we be in the uh, daylight zone at this point? Or the twilight? Yeah. yeah. At 200 meters, that's when light usually stops, but there is light that attenuates all the way down to 1,000 sometimes. 
but all detectable light is gone after 1,000. So we're in the twilight zone. Okay. 2,200 to 1,000 is the twilight zone, I think. Yeah. Welcome to the twilight zone, everybody. Do, 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 30 do, do, meters do, do, left do, do, do. before we leave it. Or so you think. And then that'll be the uh, daylight zone, right? Yeah. I time zone. So dun, dun, dun. I don't pay attention to that zone. The photic zone? Yeah. Is there a difference between the photic zone and epipelagic? I think epipelagic is like a combination of... Actually, I'm not the correct person to, to answer this question, to be honest. Aren't you a marine biologist? I only pay attention to 1,000 to 4,000 meters. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> and I am uh, not a marine biologist. Oh. But close. Close? Oceanographer. Oceanographer. What's the difference? Well, oceanography has four fields. There's physical oceanography, geological oceanography, chemical oceanography, and biological oceanography. And marine biology falls within biological oceanography. Um, but my thesis currently overlaps geological and biological. Okay. Right. You do biogeochemistry or? Okay, thank you. No, yeah, I do um, microbial genetics, so microbiology on hydrothermal vents across their life cycle stages. So it's geology of hydrothermal vents and geochemistry mixed with uh, microbial genetics. That's so cool. Thanks. I think so too, but it's slowly driving me mad. Oh, <laughs> as PhDs do. Mm -hmm. I'll survive. You'll survive. Paula and Rob survived there. All stations <laughs> without me on the video. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at 188 meters depth. We're going to be coming up to the handover point in about eight minutes. At this point, I'm going to say goodbye to the chat. Goodbye, chat. Um, Bye, chat. Goodbye, Goodbye chat. chat. I'm turning you off for the evening. Uh, tune in to nautiluslive.org or our social medias on uh, Instagram, Facebook, X, formerly Twitter, um, for uh, new dive oh, updates. Squids. Look at this neat thing. <laughs> See you tomorrow, maybe. I've been trying Probably. to go this way as hard as possible. Just can't make it. It'll go away. It's going to be a subsurface thing, I think. Tomorrow dive? Dive morrow? Dive morrow. I like dive morrow better. We, we should see them twice on dive morrow. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> dive morrow launches at 1600. Yeah. All right. I'm oh, excited. I'm excited about dive morrow. We got our work cut out for us tomorrow morning, though. And then the dive after dive morrow is the anniversary dive. Yeah. The dive anniversary. Dive morrow would be the uh, dive anniversary's eve. Yes. <laughs> We're making can't holidays. Handle this. I can't even handle it. <laughs> Way past my bedtime. I feel like we saw the lanternfish much. Is now the time to like, take yeah. the stick? Sure. Perhaps. Or should I wait a little bit longer? Just don't blow past it and you're good. Awesome. <laughs> well. Get comfortable here. Stick is removed. You're going a little fast. Yep. Oh. Oh, squid. Little Atalanta squiddy.
the squid are really cute too. Mm -hmm. All right, what slow down again, please. What kind of squids are they? Mm. Opalescent squid? Can you go about 15 meters a minute, please? Roger. Slowing down to 15. I can't keep up. <laughs> yeah. They're doing their safety meeting down there. Yeah. One last look at the deck frog. The whole squad of squids in Zeus. We're gonna be a little bit early today, which is fine, they're already down there. Roger. I'm coming in at a bit of an angle here with Atalanta. Yeah. Yeah, fighting a big subsurface current. Mm -hmm. See if I can get back over. But aye, aye, aye. It'll probably sort itself out. The surface current looked like it was pretty low, so. Ready for handoff? I'll stop. Gonna go ahead and start securing the tilt. Yes, thank you. Can I get bubble on gauges when you get a sec too, please? Thank you. Tilt secured. Uh, securing thrusters. Done, Tim.
Uh, control, deck. Go ahead, deck. Just to confirm, we're tracking forward, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, tracking forward at point three knots. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, we're getting back in the in the pocket there. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh, squiddies. Okay, your camera's up. Good, my camera's back. Good, we got bubble on gauges. Sonar stopped. Looks good. Pictures. Selfie. Yeah. Ussy. Little ussy on the back deck there. <coughs> All right, securing lights. It's so dark. I'm going the other way. Oh, goodness gracious. So many squids. They're not inking this time. They're calm. Peaceful <laughs> squids. Amazing how deep you can see Herc right now. Mm -hmm. Like 20 those meters, you can still see it. Those lights are bright. Yeah. The water is not very turbid. It's like a hundred thousand lumens. Yeah. I think turn the lights on when we're doing uh, low voltage testing. And yeah, it's don't like, look at them. Is this what it's like to be a lobster? Like. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Good gracious. Yeah, that's not right. All of a sudden, he jumps on here. Yeah. That's a goal if I've ever seen one. All right, we can hold position. Roger. Bridge control. And control, this is the bridge. Can we please hold position? I copy that, hold position.
Remind me to bring my camera in. Roger. Like right now or? Like at the last second. Okay. Thanks. Can Herc uh, give a kick ahead there? Roger. Roger. All stations, uh, Herc secure to the crane. Sorry. Control copies. Bridge copies. All right, I retracted the camera. Roger. All right, all stations, that's heard passing the transom. Control copies. Uh, bridge copies.